Hello and welcome to another episode of Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA Millionaire in just 15 questions. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, make sure you do go back and watch them now. There's crazy support on them and I really do greatly appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you do that. New videos every Sunday at 9pm. Um, I see a lot of people asking me, like, when, when's the next video? It's always going to be Sunday at 9pm. We do premieres and uh, that way you can play along live. So, shall we find out who today's contestant is? Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire. Today in the hot seat we have a FIFA YouTuber and streamer from Burnley, England, but he is based in Poland at the minute. He's currently halfway through a 30 day One Punch Man charity challenge. It is the one and only Visa. Yo, how you doing? I'm doing... Uh, How's the challenge going Visa? I'm, How's it going? I'm cold. I'm very cold. You're cold. It, it is snowy a lot and as a man from England, specifically Burnley, I'm not used to snow, so that's all I see now. In as soon as it hits January, it's like I live in the North Pole. So I've got to get used to that. But I'm happy to be here. I I've been keeping up to date with your series over here, and I tell you, I am number one impressed, but also number two, absolutely riveted by this challenge I got ahead of me right now. I honestly, I'm actually gassed. I'm so looking forward to see if I can actually do well because I think I can. I'm think I'm confident, but. That's what we all think before we actually get in the hot seat. It is indeed. Like I think, I think being able to see the questions just make it much more easier. Um, going back on the snow, it did actually snow the last couple of days in England. So, you know, it's it's been quite cold here. I think it's just about clearing up outside. But I think it was only like up north. To be honest, I don't think the southerners got any snow. But maybe they did. Was it actual uh, snow? Or was it like that kind of like slushy? It was a good. It was of... a good like where where I am in Derby. It was a good like foot. Like if you put. If you know what I mean, like if you put your foot in, it would have been submerged in snow. Now that that's that's good to hear because yeah. where in, in in England it snows, it gets a bit of like a little white, like light patch, and then it rains rain half an afterwards, and it just becomes slush. That's Burnley. <laughs> put snow from far, far as, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, right now I'm just I'm just past halfway through the challenge, and I'm, I'm not dead yet. And for me, that's a success. I didn't think. I, th I thought I can last it. I just didn't think my body could last it. And like my, my ankles would just say, ha, no, lads. And I just like, they'll just, just start snapping and just start pulling each day. But eh, I've gone through it. I'm happy with it. Uh, we raised some good money for a great cause. So, yeah, uh, I'm just, I can't wait till it's done so I can just go one day without having to go 10k in the snow, really. I can actually like lay in bed past the time of 10 o'clock and not have to think about push ups. Yeah, before before Christmas, I was doing like 10k on the bike, and that was in like a nice conservatory and everything. But having to run in the snow is just I just wouldn't want that at all. So we will be leaving the link to the charity down below if any of you guys want to drop a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. Shall we get started with the quiz? That is the question, Visa. Yes, I am so looking forward to this, and I really hope I don't get a question wrong, which I think I'm too much of a smart ass to like get it right. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm already <laughs> doubting myself. It's just, it's already begun the mind games. Okay, 15 questions, three lifelines, a possible 100,000 FIFA points to be won. Best of luck, Visa. Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Question number one is for 100 FIFA points. What part of the body is predominantly required to play the sport FIFA is based upon? Is it A foot, B ear, C chin, or D nose? <laughs> You've really gone to the bottom of the barrel here for this first question, haven't you? The <laughs> easy ones are the hardest to write. This is honestly, I'm, I'm just, I, I went from what sport is FIFA to what what body part do you need to play football? Right, well. <laughs> I've even I'm, said the word. I mean, we know it's foot here, but like, I just want to hear, what, what's the other three that you said? Nose, you said? Nose, ear, Nose, and... Chin. So like I didn't want to use I didn't I didn't want to put like hands or arms in it because then people were like oh if you're a goalkeeper you need hands and arms so oh, I thought I'd just completely <laughs> so how, what get do, rid of that. What do you play football with? Your left ear or your tongue? Come on, all right, it's foot. Um, we've made it past the first one, I hope. That is the correct answer. You get one hundred FIFA points. <laughs> oh, okay. But but quick quick question actually, who's the who like went the least furthest? Who went? I think it's Ellie. Was that, like, it's was that like eight or nine or something? Or I want to say seven or eight, yeah, somewhere around there. Right, they've, so they've all got at least half right, so... Yeah, I'm going to hope that I make it to at least like ten here, just to be acceptable. I think I should go further, but as long as I'm like ten, I'm happy with that. 
Question number two is for 200 FIFA points. What rating is base gold Nick Pope on FIFA 21? Is it A, 80, B, 82, C, 84, or D, 86? He is 82, and I know that because ever since we beat Liverpool, that's all I've been spammed with, is a photo of just Nick Pope. Um, that's all I've been spammed with in recent days. He probably should be an 86 for how good he is on the game. He's, he's a top quality keeper, I use him myself, and uh, I think he might be getting an informed today. There's a slim chance of that when we when He we probably will. This. He had a good performance against Liverpool, and also because I know that as, as well, because I know that he is higher rated than Pickford. I think he's the highest rated English um, um, goalkeeper. I think like Henderson is like 80, and Pickford is 81, I believe. So I think Nick Pope's actually the highest rated English keeper. So that's why I kind of also know that as well. And that is the correct answer you do have to good FIFA points. Get in that 40p. Get in. <laughs> you can go up that one 7.5k pack and you can get no rares. Get in. It's actually, it's £1.40, isn't it? Yeah. Is it one pound? Because it's 70p for 100, correct? It's £1.40 for 7.5k pack. All right. All right. I love it. I love it. Question number three is for 300 FIFA points. The 2026 World Cup will be hosted in three countries. Which of the following countries is one of the hosts? Is it A, Venezuela, B, Colombia, C, Mexico, or D, Costa Rica? To you fair, I've kind of even forgot that was even a thing, not going to lie. Um, now that you said that, I'm pretty sure that it's to do with like the Americas. So like, I'm pretty sure it's like Canada, America, and Mexico. I'm, now that you said that, because honestly, I actually don't actually fully know. I've not even thought that far ahead. Um, what was the other three? Venezuela, Colombia, and um, Costa Rica? They were the other three, yeah. Yeah, they won't be those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's probably Mexico, USA, and Canada. Um, like 98% confident. There's like a slim chance it could be Costa Rica. I, I don't think they even have stadiums that's good enough for the World Cup. Um, <laughs> they, got co they got um, Cheeky Kilo Navas, Costa Rica, so they might, they might have a World Cup chance. Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, but I don't think that he was really... Rays and stadiums that could play in the World Cup to begin with, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm sure it's Mexico. If it's not, then Jesus Christ, they've messed up. Then so yeah, Mexico. And that is the correct answer. You do have 300 FIFA points. It's actually going to be quite interesting to see because it's, it's only five years away now, and we've got like the Euros this year, um, the World Cup the year after, and then obviously there's only four years to the next World Cup. So it's you know we've got quite a, quite a lot few international tournaments in a short period of time yeah i feel like i mean everyone just thinks uh, just thinks about qatar but like i've not even thought about the one is there like a 2030 world cup already planned as well like i have no idea if that's even planned i didn't even i forgot about that completely so yeah thank god that you said mexico otherwise i would have been actually screwed then question number four is for 500 fifa points which of the following Manchester United players had a future star on any FIFA Ultimate Team? Is it A, Jesse Lingard, B, Mason Greenwood, C, Jadon Sancho, or D, Aaron Wan-Bissaka? Did you just say Jadon Sancho? <laughs> Did you just say Sancho? Oh, my guy's thinking of FIFA 22, of course. Um, it's Mason Greenwood back in FIFA 19, I'm pretty sure. That was with that really funky car design. Wan-Bissaka, of course, hasn't, and... Um, there's Jesse Lingard as well. Isn't he like 28 now or something? Um, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, Mason Greenwood, of course. Remember that card? It's like a centre forward. I think it was 90 rated or something. Um, final answer. Final answer. And that is the correct answer. You do have 750 FIFA points. It was actually FIFA 20 for Greenwood. It was only last year's FIFA. Was it last? Um, yeah, you, you said FIFA oh, uh, yeah. 19. Yeah, I should know. It, because I, I, I make literal foot cards, which makes prints yeah. of cards. I don't know why I thought... <laughs> Yeah, it was 19 out of future stars, but that was like a purple design. I was thinking of a pink one. Why did I think of... Mm. I think it was like, I just do not remember 20 for anything whatsoever, that it just slips my mind now. Might, might be useful for the rest of the quiz, that knowledge. <laughs> Question number five is for 750 FIFA points. In 2019, which FIFA YouTuber and streamer called out the Pro Game Searching Discord? So basically, the pros would have a Discord and they'd be searching oh, and go yeah. all searching. Okay, yeah, um, Nick. Is it A? Is whoa, 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 whoa! We need to get the. <laughs> okay. Oh, which, well, which which Nick is it? Okay, uh, let's let's hear is the phone. Is it form. A? Is it A? Nick twenty eight T. B. Bokami. C. Elite or D. Run the foot market. Well, it's definitely not Elite because he doesn't even he doesn't even play foot champions. 
Bokami plays it, but I don't. I, I think it's too much of a nice get to do in the first place. Nick just. I mean, both Nicks are both just mental. But yeah, I remember this quite well because he banged the video saying, like, this is unacceptable. And uh, I remember that video, like, really being important for the scene. Uh, yeah, run the fuck market. Um, incredible. Um, I can't believe that people actually did that, though. Like, this, this, com yeah, this it's, community it's... is just mad. <laughs> it's just mad now. The, the number of things that, like, I don't know, just EA kind of. I don't know. It's kind of EA's fault, but at the same time, the player base do make a lot of issues for themselves with, like the the golden goal thing as well. That was that was quite a funny part of the community at the start, like when icon swaps came out. Like some people were for it and some people were against it. And at the end of the day, you play the game however you want. There's no like set rules to do it. Um, but I think searching for games to not match against certain pros is, you know, that's just yeah. not... I mean, both the, both of those are very different scenarios. There's one to do with actual foot champions, which could get you points to actually qualify for events, if you so wish. And the one's just for, it's just playing the game for some swap tokens, isn't it? Um, yeah, but it's an icon. It's really important. I, I don't actually understand why people, like... I know that you're joking, but like people still like big up icons. Like we're still back in FIFA 15. Like you, people get a 40 minute icons practically by January, and we're acting like icons are still a famous, uh, like, still like a very famous, illustrious, like luxury thing. It's not, and I don't know why people still big it up like that now. Um, yeah, people are still act like it's life and death. It's crazy. Still, it's crazy. And that is the correct answer. You do have 750 FIFA points. One thing I was—I actually checked the video before this um, before this recording, and I think you've actually got the top comment. So I'm really glad you do remember that because if you didn't, then it would have been. <laughs> do I not get bonus? Do I not get bonus points for um, getting the exact title of that video? Is—is is it like this is <laughs> this is unacceptable FIFA twenty? Was it something like that? Was it twenty? Yeah. Was it twenty yeah. or nineteen? Yeah, it was twenty. It was twenty. Yeah. No, no bonus points though. Oh, come on. Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct. You are guaranteed 1,000. Who has the most appearances in the Premier League of all time? Is it A, Giggs, B, Barry, C, Milner, or D, Lampard? Um, I swear that it's Giggs, but I just don't want to be the guy that doesn't use a lifeline and still get it wrong. And I feel like it's just going to be even more embarrassing if I just don't use it and then still get it. I feel like it is gigs because I feel my new fans always tell me that. I just feel like Gar Barry because he's a midfielder, not a wing that he may have played longer. Who, who did he even end of his career? Was it like West Brom or something? You know what? I don't want to be that guy. So I'm going to go for the 50-50 just in case. If you pick between like the 50-50 gigs and Barry, I'm going to be very annoyed here. <laughs> because it's only those two in my mind. So this is that to use is 50-50, and the two remaining answers are Barry and Milner. What should now actually be Milner? What should actually now be Milner? Okay, well... You, you thought it was Giggs, you were like, oh, it's... It wasn't Giggs the entire time! No, it wasn't Giggs. I swear that he must be up there, man. Like, he must be like... Uh, he's, he's, either number, he's either number one or number two. There's, like, if he's like fifth or something, I'm going to be really annoyed at myself. Alright, well... Yeah, Milner's still playing now, so it has to be Barry. It has to be Gareth Barry. I don't know where he ended off his career, but it must be him now. If it's Milner, then I will literally, like, I will go to the ends of the earth to prove to you that it's actually not against all mathematical science. Final answer? I hope so, yeah. Barry. James Milner is still playing for Liverpool, and he's played for a very, very long time. But the correct answer is Gareth Barry. You do have a thousand FIFA points. Well done. Oh god, I could have gone with Giggs instantly. I could have gone with Giggs instantly. I right, thank God that my own ego got the better of me to not. You got, look you got that to be, stupid. you got to be a hundred percent sure on these. If you're not sure, use a lifeline. That's that's my how, bit of info. How close was Giggs? I swear that he must um, be in like second, like second most appearances. He must be. It's actually twenty. It's twenty difference between the two of them. So. Barry's played 20 more games um, is Giggs, than Giggs. Is Giggs the second most appearances or the third? Yeah, G Giggs is second. Right. Um, oh and David James is actually fourth, but I thought I'd take David James out just because he's a goalkeeper and, you know, he's, he's slightly... These players are slightly more recent, yeah, although yeah. maybe David James played more recently than Giggs, I mean, James, but I, I mean, guess Giggs is more. David James will be interesting because, like, keepers do last longer, but 
he was just a little bit before. I mean, he's not before my time. I mean, he was still playing for like Portsmouth for that when I was watching him. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, he's he's not like the last ten years, or whatever Giggs was. Yeah. Okay. I didn't fail. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Because I would have I would have got that wrong then as well. <sighs> Jesus. Question number seven is for two thousand FIFA points. Which was the first foot promo on FIFA Twenty One? Is it A? One to watch. B, UCL, C, freeze, or D, rule breakers. Okay, so it's either UCL, one to watch. Um, yeah, it's either UCL, one to watch. So it's definitely not rule breakers, because even I was playing it back then. And foot freeze is basically footmas. So it's not those two. UCL or one to watch. Now, I was actually playing the game then, so I should know. I mean, UCL, is that really considered a promo? Like, they just release blue cards in packs, don't they? I mean, like, the when they did, like, the team of the group stage and that kind of stuff. Oh. With UCL. Oh, wait. So, like, you're not counting when they release, like, just blue cards in packs. It's the, like... It's not really a promo. Them just popping the same rated cards ah. in. Oh, right, it, it must be one to watch so. then. Yeah, it must be one to watch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I've Final answer. Final answer. I thought that you were just trying to like put in like blue cards. I kind of niced you there. Kind of niced you with that bit of I don't know. Kind of stipulating what the UCL promo is, in my opinion, because yeah. I don't think a promo counts as them putting the same rating cards but blowing. Um, yeah, I didn't find that either. But like, you just, you just don't know. So good that we clarified that. Very good. And that is the correct answer. You do have two thousand FIFA points. Question number eight is for 3,000 FIFA points. Juan Quintero played for Porto on FIFA 14 and 15, but which striker did he perfect link to? Was it A, Falcao, B, Lissandro Lopez, C, Jackson Martinez, or D, Adrian? My boy, Jackson Martinez, bro. That is a Colombian Porto connection. The reason, the reason why I know that, because Jackson Martinez was so good back in FIFA 14, him, Eder, Quintero, Eder played for Braga, beautiful. I also did that with his team this season for Jackson Martinez because he, I think I did like a barbell team with Jackson, a barbell and Quintero as well. So, and also Cuadrado. Amazing, glory years of FIFA. So, they, they were the good days. They, they were the happy days of playing gameplay and actually enjoying it. Yeah, and, uh, like you not caring if you really lose or not because yeah. you just play the game. Uh, must it actually not be Jackson Martinez? It, it is, it's great. I remember using this team. I was a proper sweat back in these days that I actually thought I was, I was good. I did like wages and pink slips. So yeah, um, Jackson Martinez. And that is the correct answer. You do have 3,000 FIFA points. I'm quite glad that you didn't get mistaken because Falcao's also Colombian and he did play for Porto. So I, was, I don't know. That was kind of a, whether you know it or not, we'll have to, you know, I had to kind of see. Yeah, the thing is though, like, I don't think Falcao's played for Porto at that time. I think it was early. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. So like, if, if you... If you didn't know who Jackson Martinez was, even you should know who it was, obviously, because he was an absolute beast. But yeah. I think some people might not have like Yeah, he, um, he had a team of the season. He was like dirty good. I yeah, loved him. Yeah. Of course, back in his back even, in these days, headers were like OP as anything. Even Quintero, the Camu, wasn't even like in form or anything. He was he was actually quite decent. Yeah, with, like, it, four -star skills it was a, it was and, a non rare. It was like a non rare yeah, seventy eight yeah, rated yeah. cam. You know, like the best players back in fourteen weren't team of the years. They were ca they were non rare cams like Draxler, De Bruyne, Quintero. Like <laughs> I don't know about Draxler is the best one for me. Do you remember Rafael Sabis? Oh god, wait, was that a silver card? You know about? No, he was he was a non rare gold seventy five, and he honestly played. He was the best player in the game. There's no, there's no other way about it. He, he was absolutely ridiculous. What, what, um, what team did he play for? What league was that? He was in the Brazilian league. Oh. Um, I think it was Corinthians. But yeah, that that card uh, that might have been twelve or thirteen. Um, I mean, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. When I look back on like FIFA twelve, I think of just like the Mike on the Yetes and like was it Ellie songs? The they're, they're like some like weird like C and there's like a mad. Like Azevio, some like left back, which like had like ninety nine long shots. It felt like yeah, Marcio Azevedo, the left back. Yeah, Azevedo. What, what, yeah, like it was. Was it Marlos as well? Like oh, I, lo I miss those days, man. Like why can't silvers just be good now? Like well, oh. they they've done a little bit with the silver stars. I'll give them a little bit of credit with that. That's yeah. That's, that's probably about the best thing on FIFA twenty for me is the silver star promo, um, <laughs> yeah. like a weekly release of you know, like you had your Vidras and Adams and um, Adiemis. Yeah, that that Trey Adams card, I remember I got that, and I don't even think he's even that good. Like, I think he's actually pretty I, good. I quite rated him. 
it just has the finishing of a donkey for me, honestly. Question number nine is for 4,000 FIFA points. On FIFA 16, Juan Herturbe represented Argentina, but what nation did he change to on FIFA 17? Is it A, Chile, B, Venezuela, C, Peru, or D, Paraguay? Oh, that is such a strange one. A turbid, I remember him, Serie A, wasn't it? Serie A? Yeah, he was at Roma. I think he actually played in the Premier League at Bournemouth. Did he? I think I'm correct. He was a winger, wasn't he? That. Like a left mid? Was it a left mid or a left wing? Uh, right wing? Is it a right wing? Yeah. Right wing god. Uh, my dog did not like that um, question. <laughs> but, okay, so right now I've got JCC as my, um, as my phone a friend. But I feel like if I ask him, he's not going to know this. Like, he may know a real life football question, but I don't think he's going to know anything about FIFA 16 or 15 players. He's probably not the guy for that kind of, you know, market. So I think I'm going to have to ask the audience for this one. Right, so this is to use is uh, ask the audience and the results are back. Chile has 21.8%, Venezuela has 18.1%, Peru has 15%, and with 45.1% it is Paraguay. What are you going to go for, Visa? I, I can't be 100%. I can't be. But in my mind, it was Chile or Paraguay beforehand. And if people go, Paraguay is the most won. Like, if they said it was Peru as the most voted, then I'd be really confused right now. But I... I've got to go a power drive. I, I can't really go against them because I don't really know fully myself. And I was at a hunch on that bit. So, yeah, I've got to go a power drive. And if, if the audience to get this wrong for me on purpose, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad, man. Please, yeah, I think, power drive. I think they have actually got it wrong in the past on a nation one as well. Um, but oh, the don't, second don't, answer, don't be saying this now. The second answer also had a high percentage. So you're going for Paraguay. Is that your final answer? It has to be. Yeah, it has to be. I can't go against it. Like, if I go against the audience now, then I'm going to look even more stupid. So, yeah. If I go down, they go down with me. That's the way I think about it right now. It is my viewers, Fizzer. you got to think. These these people are, must be very, very intelligent because they have got the correct answer. It is Paraguay. No, they're and, so uh, intelligent. They can just Google it. Like, I can't Google it. I can't tell you. It's only five minutes. Bin. Five minutes to Google the answers. Quite a short, you know, I don't, I don't know if they can do that or not. Hello. That's the thing. Here's a mobile life. phone. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy, done. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, no one knows about who, who Herbie is. He's just, he's just a... Donny, that's just, he, he, he's, he's alive in the world. And Still, there's a good, there was, how many percent was there that got it wrong? You've got to think about them people. Yeah, 60% of people got it wrong. I think more, more people, people got, it got it wrong than got it right, so. Yeah, I was on thin ice. That is, a, I, I hate you for that one, because no one knows who a Turby is. No one cares about it. I do, it. and I'm sure there's. Yeah, maybe back in FIFA 17, FIFA 16, sure, lad, but like, come on. Question number 10 is for 5,000 FIFA points. Who was the first player moments SVC on FIFA 21? Is it A, Wes Morgan, B, Memphis Depay, C, Forsberg, or D, Oxlade Chamberlain? So Wes Morgan was a silver star, was in the silver objectives. Um, I think I actually know this because I think I played it back then and I... Remember the hype around it because it was a it was a new card. He looks sick. I'm very sure it's Forsberg. I'm very sure it's Forsberg because I know there's a guy in my community which um, got him done, and he still uses him now, saying that like, oh, he's amazing. I love him. He's like a Red Bull Leipzig team. So I'm very like 99, 98. Yeah, it's Forsberg. Final answer. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's Forsberg. I think Westmore was like a month ago, a month and a half, a month and a half or something. Silver Star. Um, Art Slade Chamberlain was not far afterwards, but not that was like incredibly expensive, so no one did it. But yeah, I remember the hype around the fact it was a new fancy vision record. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Forsberg. And that is the correct answer. You do have five thousand FIFA points. Well done. Okay, okay. See, that was much easier. It's always like I struggle for like ten minutes on one, and I just get it instantly. That's one. <laughs> So, okay, at least I'm, am I like midway now of like most people, did most people usually make it to like 11 now? I think, yeah, you're about just over average, I think. <clears throat> that's, that's, that's my life motto, just above average, there you go. That's, that, that, was my, that was my Tinder bio for like a year when I was in, New, I was in Newcastle, just like, I'm above average. 
Question number 11 is for 6,000 FIFA points. You're one away from the 12k safety debt, so you need to get these next couple correct. On FIFA 21, Davor Suka represents Croatia, but what nation did he play for before? Is it A, Czechoslovakia, B, Bosnia Herzegovina, C, Soviet Union, or D, Yugoslavia? So this isn't like a nation he had on FIFA, just in real life, which nation did he play for? That is correct. So this isn't like, so since he's been on FIFA, he's always been Croatia, basically. All right, let me just give this dog a sausage. Go on, go get a sausage. Go get a sausage. Yes. All right. Um, I mean, Suka. When did he play football? I want to say like the nineteen. I don't think he was that old. I want to say like the nineteen. Nine. I'm trying to envision it's like Yugoslavia and Soviet Union. They weren't really like football nations till like. I think I want to say you. I mean, I'm. I could be far off here, but I think Yugoslavia's like. I want to say like the 70s or 80s, like they stopped becoming a thing, and I think Soviet Union was like way before that as well. Um, and then it was between who was the other two nations? Czechoslovakia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. I know that Croatia is on the map, I'm trying to think of which is the closest. It's not Soviet Union because that's like Russia and like Croatia. I, I mean, I don't know his family history too fair, so it, it, it could be some sort of family. Do you not, do you not know your Eastern European history? Is that, is that I know that Croatia is practically like it's to the side of Italy, you know, of like that kind of area of Eastern Europe. Like it's, I'm pretty sure it's just below Slovenia. I believe Slovenia is on the border to Italy. So I know it's on that side. So Soviet Union is Russia. That's all, all the way over there. So I'm pretty sure it's not Soviet Union. Yugos Yugoslavia though, that's just like, I'm pretty sure that, that's just a... Uh, it's just a collection of so many different kind of nations that just did exist, but also not at the same time. So it's like a collection of like, what well, feels like 15 different countries. Like that entire area of like hu Hungary or like Serbia and like Kosovo. I mean, that's just become a thing recently. Like Montenegro, like I feel like it could be Yugoslavia. Um, Czechoslovakia. You say Czechoslovakia, so not Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia. So like that was when they were both the same nation. It's a hard one, this. I, my, my this is a... You might need to use that final lifeline, but I don't know if the lifeline would help or not. I don't think John will know much about Suka <laughs> team. I don't, I don't think many people know much about this. It's a hard one. I feel like the more you do this with each new person, the more kind of like deeper you're going to look for your answer, for, for your questions. Yeah, to trivia, you have to... Yeah. <sighs> I'm like 70% onto that, the fact it's Yugosla uh, Yugoslavia. I'm 70% on that, because I feel like back in those days. But it's just because I just don't know exactly when Suka was playing. Do you, do you know when Croatia was formed as an individual, what is it, like a sovereign nation? When they were like independent, basically. My guy. I didn't do GC GCSE history, you see, so I'm, I'm not too... I love I love my history. I, 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 I like, like history. history, I know about the world wars and that. I, I mean, I feel like my knowledge of World War One could maybe help me out today, because like, I'm sh I swear there was like, it was Hungary which started the world war, and then they contacted the, the boys to help them out. The boys. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I mean world, war one, world War One started with, um, basically it was Hungary and Serbia, because... I think it was Fitz, Fitzgerald, Fitz, some guy got assassinated Franz basically. Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand. Why did I think Fitzgerald? Who's Fitzgerald? Fitzgerald. <laughs> Who Fitzgerald is? Yeah, some Donny got assassinated and they thought it was Serbia and then they basically said, all right, so let us just completely murk you, otherwise we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to declare war. And they're like, okay, cool. And then just got their boys involved. And that's how, this is how World War I started, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure that's correct, that's between Serbia and Hungary. Or, was it Hungary? Like, Hungary something, hung, like some other... Yeah, it was an Austro-Hungary. Austro-Hungary, yeah. Austria. History is weird. Yeah, I feel, I want to ask a ask a friend, but I feel like he's just gonna know nothing either. So, like, I, I don't think many people know this one, man. So, right. So, this is up to use his phone a friend, and we have got John in here. Is JCC, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can help Visa with this question because he's a bit. <laughs> he kind of knows, but he doesn't hundred percent. So, I, I feel, okay. With well, the first problem I've got is phone a friend. Uh, it's more an associate, and more of an associate. <laughs> A colleague. This, this, yeah. I know that you are not going to know this question, but I feel like I've got to use it, otherwise I'm going to be annoyed if I didn't use it. Why'd and you also ask me I'm, then? 
because I want to see you confused as well. I think I do know it, but I just want to right. just maybe. I've, I'm like 70% now. I think I know the, right. what the answer is. So, this is a question. So, do you know Suka in the, the icon of Legend in FIFA? Yeah, go on. Not kind of. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't even know who the person is. <laughs> I hope you know who the person is. So, the question is um, in FIFA, he is known to be a Christian icon, but. Where, where else did he play for in his career um, in real life? So the options were internationally. yeah, internationally. So the options were Czechoslovakia, mm. Bos Bosnia and Herzegovina, um, Soviet Union, or Yugoslavia. So in real life, where did he also play for alongside Croatia or before or after Croatia? Wait, say the options again. Bosnia, Bosnia, Czechoslovakia, Soviet Union, or Yugoslavia. I think it probably is Yugoslavia, just because I think they were like a bunch of collection of countries around like, you know, Eastern, Central Europe, and Croatia probably was part of that at one stage. Yeah, Croatia, Croatia was part of that. They were at war, at civil war. So, yeah, uh, Yugoslavia seems like a, a shout, but I don't know if Bosnia, I don't know anything about the history of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I know that might shock you, but uh, yeah, I, I'd say Yugosl <laughs> Yugoslavia. Yeah. So he did know. He did know the answer. Am I right? Is that, is that the answer? You going for you going for that final answer? I mean, you I'm already now. I, I was already if I just go against him now, then I'm I'm gonna be pissing off him and also you. So, I yeah, I was already leaning towards Yugoslavia. I just wasn't fully confident because Bosnia was like next door to it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with Yugoslavia as I beg it's actually correct. And that's the correct answer. You Let's do have six thousand FIFA points. Well done, done. my guy. My guy! No, Vizzer Viz was like, nah, he's not going to know anything about this. And he just threw him in anyway. And he was like, oh, the, the what was it? The civil war in Croatia? And then yeah, the yeah, I know that about because history. Stipe Miocic is the champ of the UFC. He's Croatian. He talked about civil war. I've, I've listened to him on a podcast talking about it. That, that is so random. Okay, also, I've got the right guy for this question. The right guy. I was trying to get Vizzer on the lines of um, Slavia Prague, because obviously Prague is one of the bigger teams in mm -hmm. Croatia. And obviously Yugoslavia, you could have you could have yeah. worked that one out. Yeah. But, uh, Wait, Slavia Prague? That's Czech Republic, right? Is it? Yeah. I just mudded myself. Yeah, Slavia, Slavia Prague. I mean, Prague <laughs> is Czech Republic. Chris Tarrant's just embarrassed himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, it you, is Czech. Well done. Well you, done. Be, you best leave that in the edit, man. Yo, can no, I get okay. a lifeline back in there? Can I, get, can I keep John in here? Question number 12 is for 12,000 FIFA points. You do have no lifelines remaining, but you get this one correct. You're guaranteed a thousand. Which of the following nations do not have a single gold player on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A, Iraq, B, Latvia, C, Zimbabwe, or D, Cape Verde? I hate you, bro. I hate you. Wait, so three of these nations have a gold card, but one doesn't, right? That's that's the question. Oh god. Oh god, man. Uh, I'm just right now. I'm just visualizing the flag. So Zimbabwe. I'm pretty sure there's one for, Zim for Zimbabwe. I'm pretty sure there's like there's like a centre back from like the French league or something like that. I want to I want to say Liga and centre back. That's just I'm just imagining the card with the nation. Basically, that's what I'm thinking of right now. So I'm pretty sure Zimbabwe has one. Um, Latvia. I want to say that they also have a gold card as well. I, I feel like they should. Like somewhere, like they play in like the Czech league or one of those kind of like e European leagues. I think that they will. I think I'm not convinced, but I think they should. Um, what was the first team? Oh, sorry, first country. Iraq. And the final one was Cape Verde. <laughs> I think Iraq does, or maybe I'm confusing Iraq with Iran. Though, that's the thing. I'm, 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 uh, they're, they're quite similar flags. It's just, just like this, the the central. I'm pretty sure that's the difference. So I don't want to confuse Iraq with it, with an Iranian player. And I'm pretty sure I know there's definitely an, an Iran gold. I just don't think there's an Iraq gold. For me, it's Cape Verde. I think Cape Verde has one. I'm pretty sure it's a striker. I'm trying to imagine the, fl the flag. I can't actually describe it, but I'm pretty sure I've heard, like the idea of a Cape Verde gold does is I'm thinking it's like a strike in like Liga Nosh or something in the Portuguese league. So I, I got no lifelines here, so I can't ask anyone else here or get any help. I think that you picked a rat because 
you thought I could maybe confuse with Iran. And I'm pretty sure that Iraq doesn't have a gold card. I, I, they may do. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You can, you can take the money if you aren't sure and take the 6,000 instead of dropping, you know, if you get this wrong, <laughs> going all the way down. But if I get this yeah. right, then I'm guaranteed 12k, right? Yeah, it's a big gamble. It's a big gamble. And I want to get, you know, these people the best odds to get in the blue, right? Um, well, maybe not a blue, but... Well, we need we need about 4 billion FIFA points for a blue. The, the best chance of packing Sergio Busquets, that's pretty much what we're <laughs> working out here. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to... Nah, I don't want to see out of it and go down to a 1k. Like, you might as well go big or go home here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a Cape Verde striker. I don't know why, but that's in my head right now. Zimbabwe, I'm pretty sure there's a centre-back who's a Zimbabwe. And for Latvia... I can't actually think of a Latvian player right now that's a gold. I can't really think of one. But neither can I think. I think I'm pretty sure Iraq doesn't really do any good in any, like, in real life football. No, Iran does, but I'm pretty sure Iraq doesn't. Uh, not that Iran can make it to World Cups and that, but I'm sure Iraq doesn't actually get that far into the actual qualifiers. So, yeah, um, I'm confident it should be at least one Latvian player somewhere. So, I'm going to go for Iraq. Um, I got no lifelines here. I'm not gonna push you out of it. So yeah, if I get it right, then cool. If I, did, if I get it wrong, then I'm fine with that. But I'm gonna go with Iraq. Fine answer. It has to be. Uh, yeah, uh, it could be. I'm pretty sure it's a Cape Verde striker. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's some probably's got a gold. I'm pretty sure he's in league gun. I'm, I'm very. I don't know why, but I just imagine in the card. Latvia. I know there was you know before in previous FIFA's. I don't think he's gone down in rating, but I'm gonna go with Iraq. Yeah, final answer. Cape Verde do have a gold striker. It is Z Louise. Yes, Z Louise. Yeah, Liga Nosh. Yeah. Right? Zimbabwe. I don't know if they have a centre back, but they definitely have a right winger who's gold, and he's called Bilat. So it's got to love him for the upgrade pack. So it's between Latvia and Iraq. Come on. Do it to me. This is the this is the all important question. Is it Iraq or is it Latvia? <sighs> I'm like 80% confident here, but there's still a small chance. And the correct answer is Latvia. You do have the wrong answer. Oh. And you have dropped down all the way to a thousand FIFA points. What? Oh my that was god. A, that was a very tricky uh, you know, Latvia is one of them I don't know. Who was Iraq who, have a left who was the Iraq gold? He has there's a left back called Adnan. In what league? Not a clue. Maybe the MLS. No, he, he yeah, he plays in the MLS for White Caps FC. Oh you think I'll Iraq. you think I'll look up the four MLS, star skills, yeah. four star weak foot. Yeah, there is a gold. Yeah, 78 pace. And I swear there was... Maybe there was a Latvia card last year. I just thought that they would still have one this year. I think they have, yeah. They've been one of those nations where they have like a centre mid or a centre back gold. But yeah, not this year. Um, but what we do anyway is we do carry on with the quiz, the final three questions. Um, you have done quite well. You know, you, you got all the way to the 12,000 question. And um, unfortunately, you have just missed out. So... Today's giveaway will be that 1,000 FIFA points. Yeah, I've, I've, do do I've, I've just looked up right now, like, Latvia, and, like, I don't think they've had a gold in recent FIFAs at all. So I, I, I don't know where I got that one from. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's just because they're like, I don't know. Uh, I, I, can, I can sympathise with you. But let's get on to the next question. On FIFA 21, Daily Blind changed to a centre-back. But what position has he never been on any FIFA Ultimate Team? Is it A, right-back, B, left-back, C, CDM, or D, right-wing-back? Well, he's definitely been a CDM, we know that. Uh, you pick between right back and right wing back, which is interesting. <laughs> which I feel like you... <laughs> what was your one as well with that, you said? Left back. Blind is very versatile, isn't he? I mean, I've, got no, I've not got much pressure here, so I could get it wrong. Yeah, really. you can just quick fire whatever your th force, first thought is. I feel like that he probably that. is actually a right wing back and you, it, 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 he's never been a right back because it feels really weird to pick that, but maybe that's the purpose he threw me off here. Um, yeah, I, I would probably say, just with some sort of logic in my mind, like a right wing back he's probably never been. And that would have been wrong. He has actually never been a right back. He, he was yeah. a right wing back. On um, it is really weird. That's why I put the question in. Because like, why, why has he been like a right back, a right wing back, and then he went to left back, and then I think he went centre back. CDM. Yeah, it was, it was either yeah, two. Very, it, was, it, was, it was either it was either two things. Either like you put it in there purpose to throw me off, or the fact yeah. that he actually was actually a right wing back and just never a right back, and that was the giveaway. Like it was, I would have probably thought about it deeper, and I still probably would have gone with right wing, right wing back too fair. Of, I would have gone with right wing back and right back to you first. So, yeah, yeah, okay. 
I, I can accept that. That was hard. That was, that's that's like yeah. no one can actually, that actually know that for sure. Question number fourteen is for fifty thousand FIFA points, but you did get the uh, twelve k wrong, so we're we're down to a thousand, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, that's... but here is your question. Sorry, that's e EA. You know what, man? <laughs> EA doesn't win. That's that, that's what I take. EA they don't they don't get more money. Yeah, EA don't get the money. I'm d I'm yeah. the people's <laughs> champion. Okay. Who is the highest rated German outfield player on any FIFA Ultimate Team? So we included like team of the years, team of the seasons, all that jazz. Is it A, Tony Cruz, B, Philip Lahm, C, Marco Royce, or D, Timo Werner? The reason I've put outfielder is because Neuer is the same highest rating as one of the th other players, basically. So that's. Yeah, no, no, you know, no. I just said there wasn't two. <laughs> this is a weird thing. Yeah, you would think that it's going to be a team of the year. However,. With how FIFA's gone recently, that they now, for some reason, make Team of the Seasons now actually sometimes even more high rated than Team of the Year cards, which is crazy. So, like, I I got I had the Team of Werner card last year, the Team of the Season, and I, I forgot what rating actually was to for, like, I think it was 97 or something. Um, Royce, I'm pretty sure it's not him, he never got a Team of the Year, and I mean, maybe a Team of the Seasons between a 97. I don't know. It's They've made it confusing because of the Team of the Seasons that they've now made that higher rated. And um, Philip Lahm. Hmm. Um, he did. He did have a team of the year in some stage, I believe. Um, actually, did he? I don't think he did because Danny Alves seemed to always get one. Actually, Danny Alves was always a right back typically, and Lom was typically a right back. Uh, but I can, I can see his card. I don't know. Can I? I don't know. Um, this one again, it must be a, 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 a best guess. Take a swing. Which one do you think? I mean, Tony Cruz actually had a team of the year, didn't he? Team, Tony Cruz actually had a team of the years before in the past. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Like, and I think that was FIFA 17 and maybe 18 as well, but I know 17 definitely had one. I want to say Cruz because he's a team of the year card and that would make more sense. So I've got to go with what logic should tell me that team of the year should be the best card. And if it's not right, then that's EA's fault. So Tony Cruz. And that's wrong. It is Marco Royce yeah. with a team of the season card. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm not wrong. EA is wrong, they've messed up their game. How are Team of the Year not the best cards ever? Come on! Right, so here's your question for, would have been 100,000 FIFA points. People were saying in the last couple of episodes, the, the 100,000 hasn't been hard enough, so I've made it Great. much harder. <laughs> Great. So here's your question. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. In the entire history of FIFA Ultimate Team, how many special cards has Wayne Rooney received, not including red picks and World Cup, like... FAM! You know, <laughs> <World Cup moments. laughs> this is just a guess. This is just a guess <laughs> off the mark. Is it A, 21, B, 23, C, 25, or D, 27? Fam, how am I supposed to quantify this? This is like, this, this is literally just a guess. Um, you know, I actually was looking up Ray Rooney's um, FIFA 12 uh, Team of the Year called the 95. It was like an inform, but it was actually a Team of the Year, which I confused Yeah, the, the informs, yeah, basically. Um, and some, that was actually a question on a previous episode, who, who, which uh, FIFA YouTuber and streamer discarded him. Yeah, I <laughs> Back in remember the day. that, remember that. I think he did one like who was like the highest rated special for England, and it was Harry Kane. But Rooney was one of them as well. But Harry Kane, Harry Kane had like a team of the year, so definitely was higher. I, yeah, I don't know if one of you right now says that you can guess this answer, then you, my friend, are either lying to yourself or you're googling it. You know, or you just got a really lucky guess. No one can actually know for sure. Um, it's a one in four chance. So, what? Which number are you going to go for? Twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, or twenty-seven? I mean, to, like any special cards, like recent years, like end of eras, they count as well, yeah? Yep. I'm just taking out red picks and World Cup cards just because, you know, the yeah. red picks double up as informs. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's been about there. for like 10 years and he's probably got at least like, a few informs and he's a couple of team of seasons, maybe early days as well, back in FIFA 13 or 14. I do? Yeah, I think 14 had a team of, team of season. So I'm thinking over the years, if that's an account, top, he gets like three or four each year or two or three each year that time is about like what the eight years or nine years has been in fifa or ten years or whatever else i'm just gonna say let's go with 23 <laughs> it's that without 25 it's a very close guess here final answer it's a very close guess here is that oh if it isn't if it's not 23 i i'll be having words let's go with 23 and yes eh, no actually no i'm not see go against your your, your gut 25 <laughs> what should be 23 Come on, 
Do it to me! Should have gone with your gut, because the correct answer is 23. Yes! See? <laughs> Lads, always go your gut. This isn't actually a, a video <laughs> to show you guys how smart I am. This is me to tell you guys how you should always trust your gut instincts. And this is the main uh, reason of this entire thing. Trust your gut. It's always smarter than yourself. I thought, I thought you were going to go for the 23 then. You were like, 23, 23, 23. No, because I thought One that second, it'd be perfect. Switch it to 25. It'd be perfect if I just changed it and I'm actually wrong. So, I mean, I don't care. I've, I'm already out of it. So, I'm just having fun with yeah. it. So. It was only a bit of fun anyway. Um, but yeah, it's been a fun recording. We've, we've gone through a number of very interesting questions. And uh, yeah, we will be giving away 1,000 FIFA points on uh, my Twitter. If you want to go down below, there will be a tweet link. And uh, yeah, make sure you drop Vizera subscribe uh subscription on youtube and um drop a like on the video i hope and, i did you uh, proud i hope i did you all proud really that's the main thing um it's you know that's i think i think you've kind of basically the longer this series goes on the harder it's going to be for people especially the top end ones because it's like you're trying to make up new questions and obviously um i don't want to just use the same question over and over again so yeah it's it's one of those where some of these might have been slightly more difficult than they should have been but Oh well. No, I'm not too forced to like, yo, know, as long as if I get if I get it wrong, if it's not like an obvious one, like if I got like the gigs one wrong or something that like yeah, a lot of people make that, you that. know, then I'd be like, Oh for God's sake. But which one which one did I get wrong again? <laughs> which one did I get wrong? What the the, the, the gold card one. Yeah, the Latvia one. Like to be fair, yeah. looking back at it now, I literally just looked up just now the Latvia, I don't think they've had a gold card in years, so maybe someone would probably get that to be fair, but yeah. If, if there's only one gold card from a rack, so it's not like there was like 10. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> it was a tricky question. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you soon. Bye.